something. So uh, very nice to see some new faces, some old friends come by, and Leo and uh, Utopian Ray, and you know the regulars like Mr. L, DK Dan, Ice, all those guys coming through. So it has been a fun night to say the least. Oh, we haven't done this in a while, but let's get into it anyway. It's Ricky coming on the mic for a little bit, because I know Kopi's got to do his thing. So, loser semis. Nintendo with Mr. L, they, like you talked about earlier, they did match earlier. And, um, you know, Mr. L had a little comeback going on the first time, so I don't know if Nintendo, Nintendo would actually remember that and, you know, take advantage and know exactly what L's going to do, or will L just, not, you know, not do anything. He's the last representative of Westchester in this bracket. <laughs> this is a very heavy outside bracket. And he's the last one he left in Westchester. So it's uh, two Jersey, Westchester, and then New York City. Yeah, Mr. L is definitely one of those players that thrives on his decision making. Mm. Um, you know, he's he's oh he's one of those people that he he's a sleeper because on paper there, there's a lot of people that have these winning records on him or mm -hmm. like he'll lose to somebody but then he'll beat them the next time they play. Notably, I think he's beaten DK Dan like two or three times yes. in the last couple months, um, which is something that he used to never. Yeah, ever was, be capable of doing, but um, you know he he's definitely on the come up to say the least. One of, one of those like projected Ooh. PR things. Like if if I were a statistician, as he gets the up smash right mm. there, only sitting at seventy seven. If I were a statistician, like if I had my own little smash news show and I had like a week by week analysis, I would say, well, Mr. L is definitely sitting in that six or seven spot right now. But uh, you know, we'll see what he can pull off for the rest of the season. But he has a bright future ahead of him. Now another thing about Mr. L, he started he ended last season pretty poorly and started this season pretty poorly. So he's been stepping up lately. So shout outs to Mr. L. As you can see, he's been getting top eight in the last couple of Westchester tournaments. Mm. But Glenn Tendo also no slouch. He is, oh, yes. he is a consistent uh, New Jersey and New York uh, tournament goer that is, you can always expect him to be in this position of bracket, if not higher, if not like maybe one step lower. But he, he is a also a consistent threat. But whenever he beats people, I'm never surprised. Mm -hmm. But now, so. I mean, Sir L, just the, the patience on him right now, he's able to just hold on to that stock and just just really, uh, right now, got a pretty good lead against the Nintendo right now. Ooh, is he going to do it? No, mm -hmm. he had the right idea. It was like almost <laughs> automatic at this point. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was definitely an autopilot moment, but it didn't cost him. It looks like that uh, that little jump to back air did cost him, though, as he gets punished for his landing and forward smashed. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Mr. L has upgraded his cape game for sure. He's been keeping a lot of things, but uh, hasn't really used it to his advantage so far yet. So far, it's been, it's been turned around against him. No, that definitely won him game two of the last set that they played. Yes. Um, he wasn't doing enough of that in the game three against Glenn when he had the significant lead. He just couldn't close it out. It, he, he wasn't Ooh. pushing his cape mix-ups enough, but I find that whenever he does that, when he weaves between like oh. the... Wow, the if platform the platform wasn't, wasn't there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever he weaves between what sort of playstyle to do, it, it definitely puts the pressure on Glenn. But uh, as long as he can refrain, refrain from being oh. like linear textbook Mario, he'll be okay. Oh, just, just the air dodge is out there for way longer. Mr. L anticipating that not to be the case. Because that would have been the stock if he got it. And that back throw might do it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Very, very convincing win right there for L. All right. Now we're going to be passing the uh, mic right back to Koopa. I just wanted to have him have his break and get himself together. Uh, thank you, guys. All right. Good job, Rick. TOing and commentating as the substitute teacher right there. <laughs> yeah, so fun fact, I haven't been able to find my bag for the last like two hours. Oh, no. And I was just like, crap, my bag has my wallet in it. Oh, How am I supposed no. to eat food later? Mm. Um, but turns out, I just, yeah, yeah, I'm good. But it turns out I just left <laughs> about as, as, I'll just I'll just filter feed. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm done filter feeding. Hey, um, man, if, if you're going to be coming here like every week, every other week, then maybe uh, much like how we used to go to the diner at Hipbox, maybe we could find like a white plain spot. They've got some good places to eat here. We could talk that over later. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> either know, way. I, I'm, I'm a man of many diners, mm -hmm. Kevin. So, <laughs> we're gonna get, so anyway, we're going to get into the second game right here. Uh, Mr. L looking really, really clean, making good use out of uh, Mario's cape. Uh, which I know it, uh, it reflected behind him a, a fair amount of times too. So if I were Glenn, I'd be a little bit sm wiser to that. Um, you know, notice that Mr. L is going to be waiting for the cape. You know, wait a little bit longer, not get into those autopiloty things that Tunic Mings ten tend to do. Um, because Tunic's a very uh, rinse and repeat type of character. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't a lot of variation to this character. Um, it's literally just like, you know, you're going to get your bomb confirmed, you're going to get your damage at those percents, you're going to get your kill probably with up smash or fair or, or a very ratchet forward smash as Glenn uh, likes to go for. <laughs> ratchet. But, um, I haven't heard that word in a while. Yeah, again, you got you to gotta be very patient with characters with reflex uh, when you play a, a projectile character because you know what they're going to be doing 
So you just gotta keep that in mind. Nice use of the bomb himself. <laughs> All right, holding on to a bomb, too, just in case he didn't quite make the recovery. Answers back with a Nair, gonna gain stage control yet again. L doing a really good job. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Lost it. <laughs> Comedy this curse. All Is right, doesn't commit to the second hit of the forward smash. Oh, that was kind of... I don't know if he did that up. If he did that on purpose, Glenn's a god. Mm. There you go. Bomb confirmed to fair. We'll take the stock right there. Again, Glenn's being a lot more wise uh, to, the, um, to the capes coming out mm. from Mr. L. Almost gets the bomb confirmed to up air. Again, Two Link, he's such an awkward weight category, like I said before. He's very floaty and very light, so he kind of floats through the air like a, a, pa a, a plastic bag stuck in the wind. Uh, he's really, really hard to combo. He's really hard to get kill confirms on because he's so small. But the raw back are going to be enough right there. No, I like that L is answering back with some item play of his own. And he, he's not, I was just about to say, he's not throwing any fireballs. <laughs> as he just threw a couple right there. But that's something I really like about Mario. Uh, you were saying like Toon Link's very rinse and repeat, kind of like linear in a sense. Uh, but Mario, he can he can sort of play a multiple multiple styles. Like he can he can play the, the distance game. He can zone people out with his fireballs. Uh, not necessarily the best strategy to consistently do against Toon Link, but... He has a, right. way, uh, a way of transitioning between aggression, passion, passiveness, and, uh, <laughs> you know, a mix of the two. I'm sure Mario can get yeah. some passion in this game, too. Oh, man. Yeah, he almost, he almost passionately stole that coin from Toon Link. He's definitely passionate about his money. Yeah. Gets, he, he steals it from your pockets with that up special. He's, he's a union guy, man. He's, <laughs> he's got to be passionate about his money. Now, Glenn's starting to get into a little bit of a bad habit uh, that I've noticed of throwing projectiles really, really close to Mario. Mm. You don't want to get into that habit as Toon Link because up close, those projectiles are very punishable. Uh, Glenn had the right idea reading the air dodge, just didn't hold on to the trigger uh, long enough. And Mr. L going to be eating a lot more of these uh, bombs. And we have an even game right here. Yeah, both of the percentage of the year I was born in. There we go. God, you are, <laughs> you're a baby. A baby. No, I'm 20. I mean, I, I'm not a teenager anymore. No, I'm, I'm, I'm an I'm adult. I pay my taxes. There you go. I, I, <laughs> got, I wasted my tax return going to a tournament in Michigan. Oh, so man. Hey. I still haven't gotten mine back yet. <laughs> Thanks, Obama, for the last time. <laughs> but, uh, all right, Roll Fest coming up from both these guys right now. Uh, I think both... It, it's... You never can really tell with uh, certain players, but like some players just kind of get into the mentality they just want the game to be over. Oh, yeah, so this is close. Yeah. This is this is way too close, actually. So they both got to be really careful. Let's we'll see how um, Mr. L obviously go for the edge guard here. Then gonna take his time again. Goes for the dash attack. And also, I just love the sound of two link makes. Ooh, that's oh, gonna, do gonna do it. Do it, Mr. L with another. This shouldn't happen on paper kind of win. And yeah. he is going to be in the money pool now. Yeah, Mr. He L is, uh, avoiding uh, double jeopardy right there. Yeah, he, um, he won the, the money match of bracket, is what we call them. That loser semifinals right there. Oh, boy.